What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos and let's get started. So I'm super excited about today's swatch and review because we are reviewing the fourth Naturel collection from Zoya. That is right, they finally came out with a new Naturel set and I am so excited. I have loved their Naturels. I, I'm saying that too much, I gotta stop saying that. I have loved this series from Zoya for so long. They actually came out with their last set back Back in 2017 so it's been a few years and it's about time that they made a new one. <laughs> the Natural Collection, if you guys haven't heard of it, is basically an ongoing line of polishes from Zoya that has really beautiful seasonal nude nail polishes. I guess now we should say that they're more neutral nail polishes because the ones that I'm going to be sharing with you guys I wouldn't exactly classify as nudes. So yeah we've got six brand new neutral shades and they're all kind of a little purpley so a Natural Collection that leans purple I'm excited about it, so I hope you guys are too. If you guys haven't heard of Zoya before, they are a mainstream salon nail polish brand. They are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan and they are cruelty free. As I have been doing this year with Zoya nail polishes, I am going to be using their Z Wide brush that is available separately on their website. They often have promotions where you can get that for free, so just check that out if you're interested. I will link it down below for you guys. But yeah, if you do prefer a round skinny brush, that is the default brush that comes with Zoya, so you don't have to worry about it if you are interested in just keeping with that brush. But yeah, so let's just get into the swatches. So roll footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Orly Bonder base coat. So we'll start off with this first shade, Evelyn, which is the lightest in the set. This is basically an almost white pinky neutral cream shade, and this one definitely does look white on me but it's one of those nice shades where it doesn't feel too stark and like white out on the nails so I always appreciate shades like this. I got almost full coverage in two coats but it did end up needing a third coat even though I do have pretty short nails so if you have longer nails there is a chance that you might actually need a fourth coat for this one. I do think that it is a really pretty neutral palette cleansing kind of shade to have on your nails though. I think it would make a really nice background for nail art. I just wish it was a little bit more opaque but overall I think the color is really beautiful and soft and it's nice and wintry. Next up we have the shade Cami and this one is a slightly darker pinky neutral shade. This one feels like a very soft muted dusty rose kind of color. It has a little bit of that blush tone to it and this one was thankfully a lot more opaque. It honestly had really impressive coverage in the first coat but I did need a second to get that full coverage and I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous. This one I feel like does kind of stray into nude territory if you are very cool toned. Regardless, I think it's a gorgeous neutral shade. I'm definitely going to be reaching for this one a lot. I think it looks beautiful. Next up we have this shade Barrett, which is an even slightly darker shade and this is where things start to get pretty purpley. So this one definitely has a very soft dusty purple kind of vibe here with a little bit of a pinky undertone and again very impressive formula. I really do in general love the Zoya formula. I think the shades are very easy to work with. I think they're generally super opaque and they look really nice on the nails. Lately they have been self-leveling so much nicer than they used to so I'm a big fan of that so definitely like this one. Again it's just a really nice wintry neutral shade. Next up we have the shade Vivian and this is a medium dusty purple with a warm undertone to it and this was where I started to wonder why there's so much purple in this collection but honestly I am not complaining. I personally love purple shades. I just feel like this isn't exactly what I expected from a natural set but I do love this purple vibe that they're going for and one thing that I really loved about this is the shades work really nicely together that you could do a skittle manicure where each nail is different and kind of have like an ombre going on which I think would be super cute especially because these all give me very winter subtle vibes so I'm really into that. This one was two coats for full coverage and it looked beautiful. Next up we have the shade Adeline and this one is where we're getting back into more nude like territory. This one is a lot more brown. It's just a very dusty cool toned brown shade and this was another one that I thought was absolutely gorgeous and kind of what I expect from the natural sets. This one was almost opaque in the first coat but I did need a second for full coverage and as usual I thought that 
the formula was absolutely incredible on this one. I think the shade is so gorgeous. And again, that dustiness really feels very wintry to me. So I think these are all really great December, January, February shades. But you can obviously wear them any time of year. Last but not least, we have the real outlier of this collection, and that is Martello. So this one is, I don't know if it's considered a sheer, but it was definitely sheer on me. It's like this soft, flaky purple and copper shade, and I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous. At first, I tried it on its own, and it did give me full coverage in two coats. However, I still think you get to see a little bit of that visible nail line. So if you want that to go away, I would pair it over one of the similar shades in this collection. But honestly, I think shades like this are absolutely gorgeous. This to me feels either very wintry or very springy, but I totally love it. My first instinct with this one was to mattify it. So here it is with matte top coat and I think that looks equally gorgeous. But then I thought, I feel like this might look even better if I decide to apply it over a really dark color. So I painted my nails black and then I went in with this shade and oh my gosh, I think this looks especially amazing over black. I love shades like this where they're a little bit iridescent, where they look totally different over black than they do over the naked nail. And I think this is where it really comes alive for me. It just looks like a beautiful purple galaxy on the nail. So highly recommend wearing it this way, but it's cool that you have both options. So here are all of these shades together. Like I said, definitely an interesting direction for them to take for a line that I would consider to be more nude shades, but seriously, I love the purples. I think they're super gorgeous, and as you can see, they look really pretty together, so it would be really fun for a full ombre manicure. So yeah, that is it for the polishes. Honestly, I'm loving them. I will say they're not exactly the nudes that I was hoping for from Zoya, and like I said, I recently did a video of my favorite nude nail polishes of all time and there was a lot of Zoya in there and a lot of those came from natural collections from previous sets so I am missing those a little bit but I will say I'm very excited about this new direction because I do love the whole like mauvey neutral kind of shade so I know that a lot of these are going to become favorites for me and even though that last sparkly shade is not at all neutral or nude I absolutely love it so yeah I mean I'm pretty happy with it I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so these these polishes are actually not available at the time of uploading this video. I believe they're coming out next week, so I will update that information down in the description for you guys so you can check that out once they do become available. But the polishes are in the standard 15 milliliter bottles and they retail for $10 USD each. And like I said, they do come by default with the round skinny brush, but you can order separately the Z wide brush, so I'll link that down below as well for you guys. But yeah, so that is it for my thoughts, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Are you a fan of this collection? Do you think it fits in with the other Zoya Naturels that they have done so far? And are you planning on picking any of these up? Let me know in the comments below. You know I love to chat with you. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So for my fun facts, I normally do a question from one of my Patreon supporters, but today I will just say you guys better stay tuned because I've got something very exciting coming tomorrow. So, uh, you know, get ready. Something's coming. That's a fun fact, right? That counts. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.